Hi guys, so today I'll be showing you all of the accommodations and I thought while we're here we might start with my home Dorchester. So if you want to follow me. I thought I'd just go over what I love best about Dorchester. So I love the fact that I can see the train station from where I am. That's great for me because I love going home at the weekends to see my family and I used to train quite a lot so being so close to the train station is really key for me. Also the fact that I'm so close to Asda as that's where I do my weekly shop and we're also first on the bus route as well so you are always guaranteed a place on the bus and because we're the first stop it also means that we're the last stop and our bus stop we don't have one on the other side so where you get on where you're going to uni is where you get off when you come back so next on our tour is Lyme Regis right okay so tell me what you like about Lyme Regis why do you um, love it? it's really good the rooms are decently sized there's a really nice common room um, there's a pool table, there's a kitchen, TV, all that kind of stuff, and then um, flatmates are nice, um, and then everything's everyone's really friendly. It's quite accessible to like the clubs and stuff, centre of town, and then the um, bus to uni's literally outside the door. It's just the best of both worlds, really. On to the next one. Which is above the co-op, which is very handy. So tell me, what is your favourite thing about living in Chessel? Co-op. <laughs> literally co-op co and that five pound meal deal. And everybody always goes, oh it's a quiet one. It's it's not all that quiet. It's uh, but um, it, it's quiet enough, you can actually get a decent sleep. So um tell me a bit about the common room, Ella. Um do you use it? Not really, no. No, no. We have done. Yeah, we have, we have. Yeah, we have. Yeah, it's a movie room, which is quite nice. Right, so that's us done at Chessel, and yeah. on to the next one. I love that the bus stop is right outside, and I can see it from my window, so if the, if the queue's too long, I can just avoid it. And it might be late, but I'll still avoid the queue. You also get two buses. So we as do, we know, yeah. the U1 runs about every 10 minutes. You also get the U4 as well, which mm. runs less frequent. But it's but still another bus. On to the next one. Well, it's fairly new because it's been refurbished recently. So that's good. Makes it look nice. Um, there's a Ben and Jerry's vending machine in the common room. I quite like the app. But they have the maintenance app because then if something goes wrong, you just put it on there and then it gets fixed really quickly. So you have a maintenance app? Yeah. You can, like, if something breaks or something, you can take a picture of it and put it on there and then they'll fix it either the same day or the next day. Hi guys, it's Benny. So now that Amber has shown you some of the holes, I'm going to tell you guys three other places that you can also live in. So, first one I'm going to show you guys is Corf House. So it's also owned by University, it's located in Poole and it has a very nice community area downstairs by reception. They have their own laundry room for tumble drying and as well as washing machines. But because it's located in Poole, the road can get quite busy during office hours. However, you should be in uni, so that isn't much of a problem. It can be quite noisy sometimes, especially on um, Friday nights. But the top side of it is because you, you're located right beside a pool, so you can get access to your supermarkets like Sainsbury's, Aldi. There's also a train station, so when you want to go meet your family, it's easy. And as well as that, you're right beside the bus station, so if you need to get a bus to university, that's not a problem. So, this is what it looks like on the inside. It comes with desk, shelves, and bed, so you don't need to worry about furniture. Then you have your kitchen, and a small spot to just chill and relax. Okay, so on to number two, is a Unilet. So these houses look very similar to houses that you would rent outside, and it provides a more homely feel. So I'm going to show you guys a picture of what it looks like on the outside. There you go. So generally the uni lets are located close to a high street so food won't be a problem and there's also very nice restaurants nearby as well. There are a few bus stops so you don't need to worry about getting to university but generally speaking the uni let will always be further away from campus so more towards the residential area. But the good side of it, it'll generally be a lot quieter. They also have a beautiful garden and as you can see the rooms are very spacious as well. And lastly, number three is Student Village. This is the accommodation that I'm currently staying at. And it's pretty much just a family walk from the Talbot campus. The rooms are pretty spacious and there's two types of 
houses here. One's for seven housemates and the other one's for four. It's definitely not bigger than Corp House. You have a bigger living room as well as a kitchen. We have our own laundry room as well. So obviously getting to university won't be a problem. You can gain access to the library, the gym, and all of the university facilities that's available. However, if you do want to go into town, the bus stops outside the university can easily bring you there. So that's not a problem either. So everything is easily accessible here. So yeah, those are the other three accommodations that you can live in. And so for all the future students, best of luck. And I hope to see you guys next year. See ya! Now I'm going to show you a couple of options for postgrad students. First is the student village, where postgraduate students can live in a self-contained studio flat. The student village has accommodation for both undergraduates and postgraduates. Most live in a shared house, however, there are some self-contained studio flats in the student village available for postgraduate students. You get your own kitchenette, ensuite bathroom, desk, single bed, wardrobe and shelving. There's also a common room within the postgraduate block. Uh, I like the fact that we are all postgraduate students and I guess we have the same interests and we are we're like the old people of the university. And uh, I also like the area, uh, Winton. And we're also really close to the uni. It's like 15 minutes uh, on foot. Yeah, it's quite good. I really like it here. St. John's Road is a small accommodation block with just 28 postgrad students located in Boscombe. The accommodation is available for postgrad students whose courses have a January start date. There are 12 studio flats and 16 study bedrooms. All of the rooms are fully furnished and each have a communal kitchen which is equipped with all the appliances such as a cooker, fridge, freezer, microwave. There is also a common room and a communal garden that you can use to socialise or study in as well as a shared laundry room. There are lots of other places that nursing students can live too, depending on where their placement is. It's best for nursing students to live near their placement because of their shift patterns. There's a separate video all about the accommodation for nursing students if you want to know more about that. Here is some general information about Bournemouth University's accommodation. There is a residential welfare advisor in every halls of residence who is available for support and advice. All the halls either have someone on reception or staff available as well as CCTV. Most of the halls at BU have some accessible flats for students with specific needs which have wheelchair access and can be set up in different ways. These have ensuite wet rooms and space for extra equipment if you need it. There's also a limited amount of accommodation for families and couples either in the student village or through the BU letting service. Right guys, so that's it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Sorry it was a long one, but I had a lot of places to cover. So I hope you liked it and I will see you next time.